Let's get to know our world. Ronald Dino's life and unknown facts. Ronald Gino was born on March 21, 1980, in a poor neighborhood in Brazil. He grew up in a football lover family. His father, Joao, was a security guard in Grêmio's stadium parking lot while running a ball in an amateur club. His brother Roberto was sweating to become a footballer. For Ronald Gino, who grew up in such a family, football was like destiny. He first started with beach soccer, what he did with his feet was incredible, he had a good grip on his ankles but was also very feeble. Therefore, unless the ball was his, he could not have a chance to play matches with his opponents. Until I scored 20 goals in one match. Noticing his brother's talent, he took his elder brother Roberto Gremio to the football camp. One year later so, things got easier when his older brother started at Gremio. In 1988, thanks to Ronald Dino's older brother, he now lived in a villa with a pool in a wealthy neighborhood, and it was even easier for him to develop his football. He was also improving ball control by playing futsal and playing with his dog and developing his dribbling feature was now very easy for Ronaldinho, but this did not last long. In the same year, his father Joao drowned by hitting his head in the concrete of the pool and died. After this incident, his brother Roberto became both his father and his permanent guide. He managed to be selected for Gremio's infrastructure and wanted to be Ronaldo, the legend of the Samba players, which is why he was called Ronaldinho in this Portuguese. Ronaldinho means little Ronaldo. Paused. He attracted the attention of many clubs with the football he played in the Under-17 World Cup held in Egypt in 1997. His club Gremio was unable to ignore this rise and signed a professional contract with Ronaldinho and now he was the stage. In two seasons, he played 135 matches and scored 78 goals. In 1999, he was invited to the Brazilian A national team and did not disappoint the expectations under the national form. The goal that won Copa America that year came from Ronaldinho's foot. The Brazilian press was now calling him the new Pelé. He became the manager of his brother Roberto Ronaldinho, who could not return to the green fields due to his injury. Many clubs gave Ronaldinho a headache for his older brother and Grêmio. Grêmio even turned down 75 million euros, which was a pretty good offer at the time. One year later it was expected and Ronaldinho transferred to PSG. Ronaldinho signed a five-year contract. In his first season here, he scored 13 goals in 48 games, but it was good, but it cannot be said that he gave what was expected. His fondness for nightlife was the subject of the media, and he even had a break with the coach. The stars did not make peace, it was like a bench. He was openly saying he wanted to leave the team and wanted to play in the bigger club, but it wasn't that easy. He stayed with his team, he was troubled in Paris, but he was showing himself in the Brazilian national team. He did very well with his idol Ronaldo and Rivaldo in the team that won the 2002 World Cup. Especially, the goal he scored from afar against England was highly appreciated. When PSG could not participate in the European Cups, it was open due to a clause in its contract. Although his biggest suitors are called PSV Eindhoven and Manchester United, he took the road of world giant Barcelona. 
Catalans paid 27 million euros to PSG for this transfer, which was heard on the 19th of July 2003. Contrary to his first game, PSG showed a very ambitious, competitive, successful performance and adapted to the team in a short time. He appeared in 32 spades 11 and scored 15 goals. In 2005, Edo ended Barcelona's five-year longing for the championship with Deco, Messi and Larsen. In December 2004, he was awarded the Best Football Player of the Year by FIFA among Thierry Henry Andriy Shevchenko. Ronaldinho's share in the second Confederation Cup, which he won with the national team on June 29, 2005, was huge. In 2005, he won the Ballon d'Or award. Putting on his success, his biggest goal was to win the Champions League trophy, which is the ultimate goal of the outgoing Brazilian. In the 2005-2006 season, they beat Real Madrid 3-0 in the Santiago Bernabeu Stadium, scoring two goals and applauded. He was also receiving ad offers such as Nike, Pepsi, Coca-Cola, EA Sports, and he earned $19 million from these ads alone. Ronaldinho was no longer just a football star but a star in his commercials. The 2006 World Cup was the turning point for his career, everyone was expecting a lot from the last champion, but the team did not perform as expected. Returned to France empty-handed, Brazil, which was eliminated in the quarter-finals. The 2007-2008 season was the season in which his fall with the Barcelona jersey in general began. With the match against Osansua in February 2008, weeks after passing the 200th match threshold in his career, the muscle problem in his leg affected both himself and the team due to his inability to play the important player. They lost the championship trophy that they lost to Real Madrid last season, and one side found the blame on Ronaldinho. She has been a role model for everyone and he thought that Ronaldinho, who had great works in Barcelona in three seasons, influenced him by the lifestyle full of parties. He left the team with the arrival of. His first suitor was Manchester City, but he signed with AC Milan. He couldn't wear the number 10 in Milan like the one in Barcelona because the number 10 belonged to Seydorf. He scored his first goal with his Milan jersey against his longtime rival Inter, which was exactly what the fans wanted from him, and could not give the performance the fans wanted for the rest of the season. He was able to score only 10 goals in 32 games, but he had a good start to the season, but a disappointing season has passed. Milan Knights became indispensable for him. He could not give up his night life like in Spain. 2 in AC Milan. He did not start well in the season, he came late to training and sometimes he came to the matches at the last minute. After a while, he regained his form and his return to essence began. He became the best player of the season at Milan. Ronaldinho, who wanted to reflect his performance in Brazilian Barcelona, who attacked and presented snap shots from the old season, admired everyone with what he did in the Siena match. In this match, he made hat-trick and got the fans up with a goal from 20 meters. Although the 2009-2010 season went well for him, it was not very stable and was not recruited to Brazil's World Cup squad, and in 2011 the AC Milan adventure ended, Ronaldinho's European adventure ended and his country's team returned to Flamengo. Although he did a good job in Flamengo and called for the national team, the field did not affect the national team.
he transferred from Flamengo to Atletico Monero due to the unpaid debts in 2012. With Atletico Monero, the 2013 Libertadores champion, they would represent South America in the club's World Cup, and Ronaldinho Monero, who had a small contribution to the team, had come to the cup with the idea of playing the final with Bayern Munich, but lost to a Moroccan team 3-1 in the semi-final, although Ronaldinho scored a frickic goal in the match. This had no effect. He was no longer able to take the stage except for the free kicks, the game was flowing by his side, even when the last whistle was all the focus of attention, everyone in the opponent team surrounded him and had officially stripped him, his jersey, shoes were also their childhood hero, as the whole world. With Atletico Monero, the 2013 Libertadores champion, they would represent South America in the club's World Cup, although Ronaldinho Monero, who had a small contribution to the team, came to the cup with the idea of playing the final with Bayern Munich, but lost to a Moroccan team 3-1 in the semi-final, although Ronaldinho scored a frickic goal in the match. This had no effect. He was no longer able to take the stage except for the free kicks, the game was flowing by his side, even when the last whistle was the focus of attention, everyone in the opponent team surrounded him and had officially stripped him. With Atletico Monero, the 2013 Libertadores champion, they would represent South America in the club's World Cup, although Ronaldinho Monero, who had a small contribution to the team, came to the cup with the idea of playing the final with Bayern Munich, but lost to a Moroccan team 3-1 in the semi-final, although Ronaldinho scored a frickic goal in the match. This had no effect. He was no longer able to take the stage except for the free kicks, the game was flowing next to him, even when the last whistle was the focus of attention, everyone in the opponent team surrounded him and had officially stripped him. After the Brazilian legend Atletico Monero, he wore the Quertaro and Fluminense jerseys and ended his career in 2015 Ronaldinho and the teams he played 1998 Grêmio 2001 Paris Saint-Germain 2003 Barcelona 2008 AC Milan 2011 Flamengo 2012 Atletico Monero 2015 Quertaro.